Starting with our latest releases, we have also added in your iPad Studio the test automation framework template. So you can start directly from a template and create uh, your test automation um, project. Basically, this template is going to attach to multiple test cases that you might have in your test automation project, and it has the error handling and reporting mechanism that you need. I will open the project. This is a very simple project with a sample test case, and this test case has attached to it the execution template called test framework. Of course, this is a very simple test case with given when then states. Now let's go to the template. I'm going to open it and let's see what the structure is and what is the capabilities that it offers. First of all, we have the setup part. In the setup part, we are going to prepare the test data. We are going to configure the applications and also the data that we need in order to run the test cases and also initialize the assets. I'm going to open the setup workflow. And in the setup workflow, we have the init all assets. And the init all assets, we are going to read uh, the assets.json file, which is at the project level in the data. And assets.json contains information about the assets that we are going to need uh, for the template. Going back to initial assets, we are going to um, iterate through all the assets that we are finding in the assets.json and we are going to get the orchestrator assets accordingly and assign it to the assets um, dictionary. The assets dictionary is in the global. We, we have it defined here. And you will see that is actually um, coming from on uh, the setup workflow. Uh, of course, the setup workflow is handled. So in case there is a failure, your test case will fail. And you will have the information that the failed setup uh, happened. Uh, then we have the run state. In the run state, we are having an execution timeout that it's depending on the constant test timeout. Of course, this constant is also defined in data manager. And by default, we have put it the uh, 20 minutes, but of course you can change this value and you can adjust it to your needs. And inside we have the test placeholder. So basically this uh, the execution timeout will run um, as long as the test case is invoked here instead of this placeholder. And in case the test timeout is reached, it is going to throw an exception. Of course, this is also handled. And in case there is a failure with the test case, we are going to uh, notify that and uh, the fact that it failed with exception. Then we have the teardown bit. In the teardown, we are going to close the applications, perform the logout, create any reports that we might need for each of the test case run. And by default, we have in the teardown the kill all processes. So you can start uh, with this. And of course, you can add whatever you need in order to make sure that your environment is ready for the next execution run. Bye. <laughs>